what did your mind have to say about it? You continue down this road losing interest. Not trying to lose interest, just finding that somehow not particularly that interested in this. It's not a path, okay, listen, let's stop being interested. There's no one telling you this. All you're doing is somehow holding on only to the self, if I want to use this term. Stay only as this awareness, in whose presence all display the pictures of life come and go. None of it stays, it comes and goes. When it comes, you're not pushing it away. Let it come, let it stay. When it goes, you don't grieve. Oh, it's gone. No, it comes. Everything coming and going. Just like the clouds floating by. They just come and go. When you engage with some particular thing, it seems as though you stop it and you create a relationship with it and it becomes a different feeling. But you may enjoy, you can perceive, responses come, actions happen, interactions happen, reactions happen. There is no need to summarize, to make some report about each thing. Throw away your diary, throw away your report. You are only here, everything is passing. And you are not left with the feeling something is missing, lacking, lacking. Ah, I missed out. You are more likely to feel like this when you are trying to take hold of so many things. You will always miss something. When you let go of everything, you miss nothing. And quietly, your own being is getting used to this, this new frequency of just being happy, open. But some residual impression from the mind somehow, that negative uh, tendency, to say, ah, yeah, but if you keep going, you are going to be, if you lose all this interest, you are going to be the most uninteresting person in the world. You have nothing to report. When you are invited to your friends' gatherings, everybody is talking, they will turn to you and says, And? <laughs> so it creates a lot of things, okay, who wants to be like this? But this is all the mind's work. It is never like that. You yourself may have found, sometimes you are in company, sometimes a family, people you clearly love, they love you. But the level of conversation, interaction is not stimulating for you anymore. Is this a great <laughs> grief? Somehow you recognize, actually, that somehow it's okay, you can be with them. But really, th this, 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 this attraction, this feeling, this satisfaction, this peace is not there. And without going to try and find others who are more in affinity with your state, by and by they come, you encounter beings along the way. You don't have to go looking. You don't need company until uh, if there's a need for company or if somehow it comes, it comes. But if you think about it, your mind will go into places that are not true. It will create monsters, gremlins. And you think, oh no, I better not go there. So this is why I say, forget about it. Forget about all these. <coughs> don't take any help from your mind. At the moment, the mind is not being helpful it may come a time when it changes its ways. But like this, no. It will only perpetuate some bad tendencies and habits. <coughs> and no amount of effort by itself is going to curb it. The simple thing stay only as the awareness within which the uh, mind is playing. But holding the attention on the awareness only, then uh, those thoughts and that activity get suffocated somehow and they become quiet. then somehow, gradually, mind energy begins to cooperate with uh, your own cosmic energy.
for the moment, no job to do. I don't want to give you any exercise. Because the mind will just take it and then turn it into something else. So simply don't participate, just for a while. Stay, you are here, sit. It's possible just to be here, there is no job to do, no task to complete. Just be present, you are simply here. Leave it open. Mm. Somehow you are. Uh, soaking, soaking, immersed in this uh, auspicious space. <coughs>